The journey into Tanzania's farming history is just like any other. That of a country in constant destruction of its forest cover, depleting a resource that in turn has affected productivity in a country that is largely agricultural. But it is a history a new breed of farmers here hopes to bury, sowing the seeds that will hopefully give birth to a new Tanzania. Isamaya is a small farmer in Kishotu village in Korogwe, 415 kilometers from Arusha in Tanzania's northern region, whose one-acre piece of land boasts of the latest in farming techniques and as such abundant productive yield. But it wasn't always like this for a farm that stood on a steep slope surrounded by bare land cover. Isa adapted farming techniques he learned through Tanzania's land care initiative. Under the initiative, Isa, like hundreds of villagers, have through a collective action adopted a land management and conservation strategy through which they employ such techniques as terraces, mixed farming and napier grass plantation to minimize soil erosion the results of which he continues to enjoy every day. Kwa kutengeneza haya matuta ya meza, tofauti ya kwanza ni kwamba kwa mfano, robo eka ukipanda viazi debenne ulikuwa unavuna kati ya gunia moja au gunia mbili. Lakini baada ya kupata mafunzo haya ya hifadhi ya ardhi kutoka TIF, basa sasa hivi robo eka tunapanda debenne. Kila debe moja linazalisha gunia tano. Kwa hiyo ile ile roboeka tuliyokuwa tunazalisha gunia tatu, sasa hivi tunazalisha gunia 20. A story that is now slowly becoming popular in most villages here that continue to borrow from each other's farming techniques, exchanging farming knowledge and experiences that have been tried and tested by other farmers and perfecting it with their own additional resource. A story well told by Henry Shirupatu, a farmer in Nwasa. Tanzania now following in the footsteps of its neighbor in Uganda who have since 2002 employed such sustainable land management techniques to increase agricultural productivity through stimulated collective action amongst farmers that ensures conservation of entire landscapes and not just individual land care through collaboration between farmers farming communities, district local authorities, agricultural experts and partners such as Wild Agroforestry Center, the district has seen dramatic improvement in productivity and land care. Earlier farmers did not really practice uh, uh, contour farming, um, any control, erosion control measures and they were really difficult on that. But after the project came in, Farmers did study to make terraces, contour farming, and they did manage also to control soil erosion because the uh, erosion was quite a problem and also there was um, low fertil soil fertility and low production of crops. For example, uh, bean production in uh, Nwasa village, it was less than 700 uh, kilograms per hectare. Also, for crops like maize, it was uh, less than 700 or so uh, kilograms per hectare. But after introduction of the project and um, having terraces, the production of uh, beans did uh, almost double from 700 kilograms per hectare to uh, about 1,200, 1,300, 1,400 kilograms per hectare. It was really a significant improvement. The implementation of such collective action seen through Nguvu Kazi, a 25-member group that has joined efforts towards this achievement, having started small just two years ago planting cabbages on land that is largely steep and thus submissive to soil erosion, the group now talks of soil conservation techniques that have changed their agricultural path. <laughs> ni heli tuendelee na hii ambayo tunayo sasa hivi kwa sababu inatuletea tija 
said. It is a calculation that has been translated to their agricultural earnings, having employed contour farming methods as well as the planting of trees to reduce soil erosion, the results of which have seen a more fertile soil cover for their crops. Mapato amekuwa ni mazuri. Awali tulikuwa hatujitosherezi wenyewe kwa chakula pia kwa soko. Kwa hiyo sasa hivi tunajitoshereza kwa chakula na soko vile vile. The adoption of bylaws to govern how land is utilized under this new program has been Landcare's major initiative that allows farmers chart the direction they want for their land. And for Tanzania, it has been an undertaking they continue to employ. Penalty zetu za ambazo wanajiji wamependekeza kuna mfano kulima kujalima kama kama mtaalamu alivyoelekeza kuna fine zimewekwa na kuanzia shilingi eh, 500 mpaka 1500 hapo kuna penalty za kukata miti kukata miti unalipa 1000 pamoja na kuotesha miti mingine kama mitatu penalty zingine kuna zile za kufanya kazi za jamii kiwemo labda kuchimba barabara the only thing that can make all the households to do or to conserve either a spring or either a forest or whatever or even infrastructure things like road they cannot be done by a single individual or a single household so so we have to have uh, something to bind them together and this is nothing else other than bylaws well basing on the fact that this project has been initiated by the local people by our farmers they have been involved throughout the stages from project identification project implementation and therefore to me this is one of the sustainable projects that we have within the council this bylaws are to be used on a specific area as they cannot be uniform as they may set, set some standards penalties and such a like which are quite different from one village to another but the implementation of such bylaws remains Tanzania's biggest challenge. Kukana watu wataka moyo kidogo. Nataka kuhamasisha watu kwa kutumia hekima. Kama ni maneno yale hekima unayo uweze kukana hii jamii. It is a work in progress though say area leaders who remain confident that the technique will catch on for a country that has over the years adamantly refused to embrace change leaders saying that the two year project may still be facing challenges but it is slowly changing the mindsets of farmers in the area Mifumo ambayo tulikuwa tunaitumia kule mwanzoni ni kwamba wakulima unakuta kwamba wanakaa tu wanaongojea labda project ije au serikali ije kuwaletea nini maendeleo yao wao wenyewe lakini kwa mfumo wa serikali sasa hivi tunastahili kwamba kila mtu awe na uwezo wajengewe uwezo wa kufanya nini wa kujiletea maendeleo yao wenyewe kwanza wajitambue kwamba ndio wenyewe wanasababisha haya manani au chakavu wa mazingira na pia waweze kutumia rasilimali zao ili waweze kutatua haya matatizo walionayo the seeds of land care management planted in Tanzania, though facing challenges, are nowhere near wilting for a country determined to blossom agriculturally in the hope of becoming a self-sustainable food basket. <laughs>